What prohibits certain types of trademarks from being registered? A trademark cannot be registered if it has been previously used by other parties. If applicants use such a mark, they may be liable for trademark infringement. The only exception to the prior use bar is when the mark has been used in a different market. The sole purpose of a trademark is to represent the entity which manufactured it. To qualify for trademark protection, the trademark itself should not serve a functional purpose, and removing it should not reduce the product's functionality or objective value. The design of a chair presents a dilemma, however. Does the design enable a person to sit, thereby serving a functional purpose? Or does the design distinguish an otherwise functional chair as the product of a specific producer? The deciding question in such cases is typically revolves around whether a product's appearance was inspired by design or by function. The issue is most easily decided when the functionality of an item resides in a specific part of the product and the design elements are found in other parts. A great example of this is the leg lamp from the classic 1983 comedy A Christmas Story. The functional part of the lamp is the light fixture sitting atop the base. The base, however, is in the shape of a woman's stocking-clad leg and is thus clearly a design feature that distinguishes the lamp from any other on the market. It is, therefore, trademarked. What is ineligible for trademarks? Certain kinds of subject matter are generally ineligible for trademark registration. These are surnames, geographic marks, and ornamental, immoral, or offensive marks. Surnames cannot be trademarked except under certain conditions. The USPTO assesses five factors in determining whether a surname is eligible for a trademark. Whether the surname is rare, whether the term is the surname of anyone connected with the applicant, whether the term has any recognized meaning other than as a surname, whether it has the look and feel of a surname, whether the stylization of lettering is distinctive enough to create a separate commercial impression. If the mark's character as a surname predominates in terms of its primary significance to the purchasing public, then it is prohibited. Wright, Miller, and Davis. But if, over time, the surname becomes associated in the public's mind with a distinctive retailer or company, then it may be eligible for a trademark, as is the case with Sears and Macy's. Geographic marks must also be evaluated for eligibility based on several factors. If a geographic mark is descriptive, the following tests apply. The primary significance of the mark is a generally known geographic location. The goods or services originate in the place identified in the mark. Purchasers would be likely to believe that the goods or services originate in the geographic place identified in the mark. This test determines whether there is a literal association to the name or not. For example, if an entrepreneur launches a company called Los Angeles Shoes to produce shoes in Los Angeles, the name would not pass the test for trademark eligibility because the primary significance of the mark is that it is a generally known location, the product is produced in the location stated in the mark, and consumers would believe the shoes were made there. The bar against geographically descriptive marks is intended to protect one party from seizing ownership of a geographic term that should remain in the public domain. If a geographic mark is misdescriptive, however, the test is as follows. The primary significance of the mark is a generally known geographic location. The goods or services do not originate in the place identified in the mark. Purchasers would be likely to believe that the goods or services originate in the place identified in the mark. The misrepresentation is a material factor in deciding whether to buy the goods or use the services for a significant portion of the relevant consumers. The goal of this test is to prevent confusing or deceiving the consumer. For example, if an entrepreneur launches a shoe business called New York Shoes but manufactures the shoes in China, he will not receive a trademark for the name because it will likely confuse or deceive consumers. Sometimes, however, a geographic name may be trademarked as was the case with the online retailing giant Amazon. In this case, the geographic name Amazon is not indicative of the source of goods nor are consumers under the impression that the goods come from the Amazon. In addition, the geographic nature of the name Amazon is not a significant factor in whether consumers decide to purchase products. Ornamental, immoral, or offensive marks cannot be trademarked either. Ornamental marks, such as a smiley face logo, are merely decorative and too vague to distinguish the origin of a product or service. 
immoral or offensive marks. For example, an online dating service with a logo depicting two naked people having sex also cannot be registered.